Grade 12, this is Civil Drawing number 1 of Module 3, and we're going to look at the instructions as it is indicated on this page, and we're going to analyze each uh, bulleted point here. So it says here that um, there's an incomplete, and please, you must underline certain keywords, an incomplete a west elevation of a new house showing the walls and the sliding door and window openings and the roof notes that's all given here on this page here you need to scan and you need to make sure that you understand so this incomplete west elevation refers to basically that over there that's the west elevation incomplete so we're going to add all the other details there but a structure has been given to you with the different dimensions okay so it's very important everything is pointed out to you everything must be divided by 50 let's go back here and then there's an incomplete floor plan showing the walls position of the doors windows fixtures and electrical layout so we're going to go to this particular point here there is an incomplete floor plan with everything that needs to be filled in on this site plan here okay then we go to the next bullet um, we say a schematic diagram of the roof truss and roof notes that's very important if we go way to this side there's a roof notes there's the roof truss now very importantly that the trusses or the truss of this roof um, has been designed that the wall is here and the wall is there and all the pearl lines must be one thousand and sixty millimeters corner to corner or center to center okay you can either go corner to corner or center to center preferably center to center and the branding as well you need to find that distance and you need to divide it by three equal spacing here for the branding underneath here um, these are the support structures that would equally be divided here and then the branding will also be divided equally according to the information that we are going to go through here okay so let's look at uh, some of the key information uh, in our roof uh, the roof is uh, as a pitch of uh, 20 degrees so that you're going to find in your protractor these components of the roof the rafter and the support and the king post and the queen post and the tie beam they are all 114 by 38 preferably this side will be seen which is 114 divided by 50 right which will be 6 eventually so everything here to divide by 50 so that I know will be 6 already then there is the, the overhang very importantly which is going to be here over the roof overhang there is going to be 240 also divided by by 50 um, or later on when this overhang comes it's not going to be divided by this is divided by 50 here on your on your floor plan but here it will be divided by 20 because this is a section view which we're going to look at later and then you've got the corrugated roof sheeting that must go on the on the pearl lines and then you have the barge boards on the gable ends right that side walls we will talk about that uh, as we unfold the drawing and then there's uh, the fascia board with the sizes given on both sides and then the 150 by 100 gutter on both sides with a rainwater downpipe which we will also indicate later and then there's a ceiling board with 38 by 38 branding strips which we spoke about which is under the tie beam okay and then we go back here we we look at um, the room designation and floor finishes here you're going to find that there are the floor finishes and this is the room designation so you will find here the one indicates that there is a bedroom here and on the bedroom there will be carpet and so you can move through all of those let's go back to this there will be a table of electrical symbols so let's look at the electrical symbols they will be found here and remember 
each one will have a number for example a one way switch single pole which is that over there which will have to be placed in wherever there are number ones and so on and so forth okay with every number there is a specific electrical fitting then we have the door and window schedule all oh, here it is there is the door it's to fit this height is 2 meter 100 that is the height of the windows in here that 2 meter is the, is the height from the window and door openings 2 meter 110 that there learners is the height measured from this line here not the bottom line that line there till there divided by 20 of course okay that you need to know for the drawing later and then this sliding door is going to go in on this part over there that's D2 um, there's the sliding door and then that's the direction of opening same height here to 110 to fit it fits perfectly in that space over there then um, we have all the different windows here you will see W1, W2, W3 and that will be indicated here we W1, W2 will be situated in the wall alright and then we are going to look at the um, table of roof components so the table of roof components is here that is going to be 114 by 38 that's a wall plate that uh, is put on the, the brick wall before the truss is actually launched on there here is the cement barge boards that we will have we'll look at that that's the roof capping and that is the fascia board that you see there right 200 down and 20 wide so then we move on to this table of the fixtures now very importantly here are the fixtures it's in uh, electronic components you need to know how to draw these things according to the sands 10143 document uh, if you are just going to draw this over you will not receive any recognition for that so you need to know preferably these ones here which would be the plan view on your floor plan which you will draw in the designated area WB auto closet wash basin shower sink so you'll have to put that in there in symbol format let's move across again then you will have the incomplete floor plan of the new house drawn to scale 1 is to 50 and the incomplete foundation and break line of the detail section drawn to scale 1 is to 20 on page 6 now page 6 is actually the drawing page so this is merely the instruction page so I'm going to zoom out of here and I'm going to go to page number 6 quickly so here we have page 6 where you will find the existing walls with empty spaces for you to fill in everything according to that rubric over there the assessment guide here for floor plan and we please tick off every section that you need to complete on this floor plan to attain the the scores that you will see here so that will be done and then you move to this space over here which will uh, host your west elevation and you will complete it project it up and do your west elevation here and then these two are to a scale of 1 is to 50 and then there's a break line here which you're going to perform the cut through that section over there two walls uh, and the foundation and the roof in this space over here which you will do you will be standing here looking like uh, like the arrow points uh, towards that side at this spe a specific section and everything will be drawn in this area of here to a scale of 1 is to 20 right there please check whether you've complied with all the necessary detail that required for this drawing right let's do uh, the first one um, and then we will evaluate afterwards
So now we are going to evaluate the completed floor plan to a scale of 1 is to 50. Um, this is what we've done according to the rubric. We have filled in our doors and our windows. There would be the door. It's a nice door swing from the corner. Um, with the door there, the door can either be a single line or a double line and we put in the doors. We have the windows here. You will find that the space of the window is bigger than the actual size of the window. So you just need to slot it in there, create two lines in the middle and an overhang for the window sill. Alright, now we go to fixtures. These are the fixtures in the bathroom and in the kitchen area. Look at our hand wash basin. You need to know the proper symbols and the dimensions given there. You will have to scale it down to 1 is to 50 and place it nicely in those designated areas as it, in, as it is indicated. Um, please make sure that you don't draw this against the wall. It needs to be away from the wall. That um, water closet cannot be against the wall. It needs to be away from the wall. And that is the shower there with the trap over there. The sink, very easy. Inside the countertop, you will draw the sink with the respective uh, measurements that you have on your instruction page. Then we move to the electrical symbols. You will find wherever they have been indicated, you need to put the specific electric symbol down. That's a single pole. That is a light switch. And just remember, these are connected not in a straight line, but it must be in a curved line as the wiring. Um, remember that the outside light requires a little line there on the side, which must be clearly visible. That is your wall socket. That is your um, fluorescent light. The 2 by 40 what must be written there tells you the amount of bulbs that we have there. And so you have put it, all those electrical items in there where it is designated to be. And then hatching important. You need to hatch two lines, gap two lines, gap. And the entire thing needs to be hatched in one direction only. Very important throughout. That is how we... Uh, mark hatching to ensure that it's the correct um, slant and the correct type for common brick. And then lastly, uh, there's uh, labels in the, the um, building itself, the kitchen, and what the designated area would be the kitchen, and the, the floor finish would be then what has been laid on the floor. In this case, it will be tile, bathroom tile, bedroom carpet. There's a living area that's going to be wooden, wood, and then the veranda will be granite. So that must be put in there as well, neatly printed, only in horizontal format, not in a vertical, not slanted. Must be capital letters, not small letters. You are going to be penalized if you do that. Okay, and please look carefully at the rubric um, and evaluate each of the components like I just did now.
if we look at the uh, west elevation, the completed west elevation, you'll find that this elevation here refers to everything that you see here in front here. So that window you will see clearly there, that which you have to project up. You will see that that sliding door there, that's slightly recessed into the building, which will be there uh, projected up. The wall opening, opening here, you will find that there's nothing here, so it's just wall. Um, everything here in front, that's the reason why I colored that in, in a yellowish color to show you that reflects this over here. So you have to project this up. Even the roof line has to be projected up and you can see the roof line lines up here. They give you all the dimensions divided by 50 that you have to put in here. This is the and we want to look at the fascia board here. So the fascia board drops down by um, four millimeters of which the gutter is indicated on there as well with either a double line. So you can create two lines. So this is two um, and two to create either a single line or you can have a double line to indicate the gutter. You, you get both marks whether you have either a, uh, a single line in the middle of the fascia board or the double line. Then you must add the details as indicated um, in this section over here, uh, projected up. You need to project that up and make sure that it aligns the double lines here, the, the wall, very importantly the um, da rainwater downpipe that you will see here must be brought in from this specific round um, downpipe over here projected up then of course the window is just a block here you need to fill in all the details uh, the frame here the trip the double lines here at the bottom indicating the window sill that needs to be put in there as well then these are two fixed panels according to the information and then you have to put that um, uh, panel in there which is an opening side here which is the hinge side and that is the latch side you will see that information would be evident and I want to show you quickly right here on this drawing if I must just zoom in on it there you will see window notes A is the opening side B is the hinge side C is a fixed panel so fixed hinge so you need to look at that detail they say that the frame is 50 millimeters uh, in thickness so if you divide that by 20 you're probably just going to have uh, about a millimeter and some change so you can just make that either two millimeters or a millimeter and a half as a frame we are not really too pedantic about the frame structures should you have just a single line uh, we will um, be quite um, satisfied with that just remember if you do draw a single line you must have a single line added here for your window sill if you have a double like this you will have a double window sill here at the bottom as well okay so back to our uh, west elevation and i want to just highlight a few other things in here um, you will find that there are double lines here with regard to the roof. This would be the, the double line here refers to the ridging that goes on top here, which is the, the, the apex part um, connecting the two uh, um, sheets coming from either side. And then you will have the barge boards here, which, which is one millimeter apart on both sides, which we speak about in our instruction page. So that basically um, shows all the detail, the drawing detail. And finally, you will have to write here West Elevation as a, a label and the word if, or the abbreviation FFL, which is uh, finished floor level, and NGL on both sides, and that will score you a few marks as well. All right, I hope that clears up everything with regard to the West Elevation.
then as I draw your attention to the section elevation this has a lot of detail here um, in fact you can actually divide it into two parts or I would say three parts which is this component here at the bottom which is merely looking at the foundation which we've done many times in grade 10 so let me zoom in on that that specific section you start with so this is more grade 10 work and then we work our way up including the either window or the in this case the the doors the sliding doors which has three lines in the middle and don't forget to have the lintels right on top as the support structure covering all um, window over all windows and doors um, that is grade 11 and this comes directly from our um, page instruction page and I want to quickly show you what that page looks like and how this you uh, fit uh, in with our drawing here this is where we find that information everything here has been divided by 20 because it is in fact a detailed drawing so here are the instructions and that must be read um, very carefully um, and you need to include all of these detail here which I basically have included in my drawing so you can just draw a reference to all of these here the roof detail the door detail uh, the entire complete foundation with the wall all the necessary hatching um, which you need to include and then of course you need to label it west elevation this is very important the room designations and floor finishes must be included the ground level floor finish level um, the damp proof cause must be shown and then all of those need to comply with the sands 101 foot 3 so that's basically where um, that information come, uh, comes from and then once we're done there this is important to understand for our roof section and I want to focus on the roof section next so here we have our roof structure and I want to zoom in on our roof structure so once you have completed the various heights here um, from your instruction page that is where the grade 11 part stops and now we focus on more grade 12 work so you're going to start with this um, wall plate over there the wall plate goes halfway into the wall and it's a two millimeter uh, thickness which runs right through which also form uh, the, the ceiling board which you have here at the bottom which goes either side of the wall the wall here the inside wall this branding here that has the same width as your wall plate and they are spaced apart according to the specifications which you have to divide by 20 then of course um, you have your tie beam here and your raft here and your support uh, queen post here as well as your overhang that uh, has been indicated in your roof detail this is divided by uh, 20 which will give you 6 and 6 over there 6 millimeters and 6 millimeters over there then on top of that you will find your pearl lines your pearl line gap between your rafter and your sheeting there is going to be 4 millimeters and from here this is going to be 3 millimeters so this is 3 at the bottom here and 4 up which basically would be your pearl lines um, and the pearl lines are also uh, spaced apart according to the specifications in your instructions you need to make sure that you have that center to center and divide that by 20 as well then you will have your sheeting here your, she your sheeting basically is a two millimeter uh, line apart from one another uh, that runs right through on top of the per lines so that combination of things must be studied beforehand and must be known and mastered the angle here comes from that top point here of the wall plate which is 20 degrees in the drawing I show you exactly how I got to that or how I will get to that specific uh, angle there um, then you have your fascia board here which is according to the specifications in your instructions and then you will have your um, 
gutter which is attached to your fascia board. It is drawn like that, scaled down five and eight and five along this side. This is two millimeters and ten millimeters down and I'm specifically talking about the scale uh, dimensions. At the back you will find a barge board which is running um, at from the top right down of your sheeting. Um, it drops down by the amount given there in your instruction of your barge board which I believe is 300 divided by um, 20 and this line here is the return line of the barge board which fades away uh, behind that wall there so you need to put that in on your drawing as well and it covers basically all this detail here from that side which you cannot see um, and then lastly you, you, you have to fill in this uh, beam filling here that runs right up until the top of your sheeting this this allows birds to actually nest inside of your your roof which normally happens so once you build that beam filling up there's no space for birds to actually enter into your roof structure um, if you study this really well you will find that this will always be two millimeters here two millimeters a square two millimeters there uh, for the branding that will be six this angle can either be any 20, 25 or 30. You need to work it out from that top point there. That's 6. That is 4 and that's 2. So I want to repeat 2, 6, 2, 4 and 2. That combination you must study before the time. Uh, when you ever write an exam then you don't need to scale it down. And then of course this here. If they don't give this to you. The, the overhang. You can, however, get it from your overhang here in your, your floor plan, which is scale 1 is to 50. You measure it from here to the roof line. You times it by 50 to make it real size. You divide it by 20, and that will give you this size overhang over here, scale to 1 is to 20. Okay, if you need to find that out and they don't give it to you. Similarly, the distance here between this wall and that wall, the inside part, where do you get that? You find that the distance here, if they don't give it to you, you measure the distance here, you times it by 50 to bring it to real size, and you divide it by 20 to give you this inside distance there, should you require to draw an inside wall. Okay, and then this will follow from the instructions as well. I hope this is very informative and then you will find your way to complete all the details as required in the instruction on the answer sheet.